Sure, sure, absolutely. Hi, good morning, Jacqueline. It's great to see you again. Yes. Fond of rafting. So, uh, let me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm fond of rafting, and I'd like you to to explain uh, where can we head to and uh, and who are you. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so my name is Weber. I've been guiding mountain and river trips for 32 years now. And uh, we, we run most of uh, the big rivers in, in North India, across the Himalaya from Zanskar in uh, Ladakh to, uh, to uh, Subansari and Siang in Arunachal. And uh, I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be discussing the, the trip down the Subansari. It's, uh, it's South Asia's last wilderness river. Um, it's there's a superstructure of a dam that has uh, been built at a place called Gogamuk where it enters the plains, and uh, and uh, incidentally, I was part of the first and second descents of this river in 1994. So it's it holds a very special place in uh, in my heart. It's uh, it's one of the most beautiful rivers I have seen. It's probably the last place the Royal Bengal Tiger roams free, um, and it is uh, you need to experience it. So. Um, so Jacqueline, uh, we we are going to be starting this trip on the 30th of um, uh, November. You can see my cursor. It's uh, yes. at a place called Dibrugarh. It's yep. a three-hour flight from Delhi to the east of India. And when you step out of the aircraft, you smell the east. It's fresh <laughs> air uh, that hits you uh, right as you get off the flight. And we stay that night in um, in Dibrugar and we watch a lovely bihu dance in the evening and we have a an actual sit down dinner, a sit down not on a table and chair but sit down on the floor, uh, yeah, and a local Assamese meal uh, that day, and the next day we drive up uh, to Basar. We cross the the big Brahmaputra River which you did last year. Um, yes. You know, we we cross the river and we head to the, uh, this place called Basar. Uh, where my cursor is and we stay the night at a little rest house uh, you know everyone gets to know each other a little bit better and uh, this is the day before this is the last day where we charge our phones have showers uh, uh, you know um, uh, call up home etc and then then we head up uh, further up the river uh, so Menga is between uh, Daporijo and Kete it's somewhere here where on my map uh, i will i will send you the a more detailed location uh, on google mm -hmm. maps in a bit and uh, and just ahead of menga is a place called taliha taliha is the starting point of our river trip but menga uh, just below taliha is where we set up camp and we're going to be there for two nights the day we reach we settle into camp we by the river it is you're going to be on a very fine white sand beach. Uh, a whole crew will be there. There'll be tents. There'll be a kitchen tent. There'll be a dining tent. There'll be toilet tents. So it's um, it's all uh, laid out on a riverside. And um, we settle in at Menga. And the next morning, we drive to Talia, which is somewhere here where the cursor is. And we raft down to Menga. Uh, it's a lovely section with class three rapids. Uh, so this river is beautiful. It's not, you don't go to the Subansari to raft really wild water. Uh, however, we have done that. We've rafted the Subansari from the highest point it can be rafted. Uh, uh, but that gets that gets very hairy from past experiences. We've done many, many descents of it uh, in the last 20 years. Uh, so we figured that Talia is the best starting point for, for a river trip that's open to everyone. And uh, so we've got two nights at Menga, and then is then begins the the absolutely stunning bit in my book uh, of of the trip. It uh, we, we we go beyond Daporijo, the, the river is the blue mark, and we come to Wilderness Camp, which is right here, yeah. And below Daporijo, the river enters a gorge, and this that's about forty thousand square kilometers of absolutely uninhabited pristine primary forest that has been you know the way it is for since ancient times um, absolutely uh, it's it's wonderland uh, you will see tiger pug marks on beaches like i said and you spend this um, this stretch uh, all the way from where the marker is all the way till till gogamuk uh, somewhere around here where the superstructure of the dam is 
it's about you know less than a hundred kilometers, but it is absolutely stunning wilderness. Uh, we cross en route uh, the confluence with the Kamla River that comes in from the uh, from the west, and the volume of the Subansari then you know becomes bigger. And uh, and then we float down. Each of those three nights will be spent on lovely large beaches. And the last night is a very, very special beach. Uh, just about 45 minutes uh, above the dam, uh, you have a, a stunning, massive campsite. It's a great way to end the river trip on the Subansari. Uh, and you get great sights. You know, there are waterfalls coming off the side. Uh, you know, you turn a corner and the, the river will be full of Brahmini ducks. Uh, it is true pristine wilderness, and um, you see um, uh, you see elephants. Uh, we've seen elephants on a few trips. Uh, we've seen wow. tiger pug marks. Uh, we've camped on these beaches, and uh, and the last day you uh, you float about an hour to what is going to be one of the largest uh, dams in South Asia, and uh, and funnily, I mean, it also represents one of the first uh, you know big movements to conserve rivers. And a lot of protests. I'll tell you more about it on the trip. And then you you're out back to the Bruga. And from there you can, you know, you can want to do a sojourn into Kaziranga, see the see in the great Indian one horned rhino or the tiger. You can actually go into a park, or you can fly back to Delhi and you know do stuff that you'd like to. And uh, so yeah, in a nutshell, this is how it is. It's a very special part of India. It's in Arunachal, it's one of the big biodiversity hotspots on the planet. Every year they find new species in these parts. I and mean, it's a very special part of the world. So I hope to see you there.